Hey guys, uh, today in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the uh, Lewis dot structure for C10H22, which is uh, decane, the last of the first 10 uh, alkanes. So here we go. Uh, we have uh, C10H22, which is the chemical formula for decane, and that's going to give us uh, 10 carbons each with four valence electrons plus 22 hydrogens each with one valence electron and that's going to sum up to 62 valence electrons all right so um, as I said in some of my other videos for these um, alkane compounds um, there are other structures that are not just the straight chain carbon structures but that's just the one that I go over is typically the, the most standard one there could be ring structures and stuff like that, but I'm just covering the basic straight chain carbon structure. So um, let's go ahead and get started with that. Uh, this has 10 carbons and 22 hydrogens, but the hydrogens cannot be uh, central atoms because they can only bond once. So the carbons are going to have to be all in the center. So let's go ahead and start by drawing those out. It's 10 of those. All right, 10 carbons, and we got 22 hydrogens. So we can go ahead and draw those out. All right, there's 22. Okay, now every hydrogen can only have two electrons because it's just such a low shell. Uh, so each one can only have one single bond. So we can go ahead and start bonding those together to their their nearest carbon atom within this structure. Okay, so that should be it. We can go ahead and count up the bonds real quick to make sure that the all of the electrons that brought in have been used in this uh, bond making process. So we can go ahead and count them up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen. 19, 22, 25, 28, 31. 31 bonds, each with two electrons, is going to give us 62 electrons, which is exactly what we, we brought in based on the first calculation. Okay? So this should be the right structure. We can go ahead and verify it by you know, checking the formal charges on, the, on each of the atoms. So we can so start with the carbon, uh, the carbon uh, formal charges. And if you notice, each carbon in here has four bonds and zero non-bonding electrons. So the formal charge of, of each of them should be equal to each other. So formal charge is valence brought in, which is four for a carbon, minus um, four bonds on each carbon, one, two, three, four, minus zero non-bonding for each carbon. It's going to give us an overall formal charge of zero for each carbon atom. Now we can check the uh, formal charge on the hydrogens. And that's one valence brought in for each hydrogen minus the number of bonds for each one, which is one, minus zero non-bonding electrons again. And that's also going to be a zero formal charge. So if you were to sum up all the formal charges for each of, each of the atoms in this compound, the overall formal charge is going to result in zero, which is what you're looking for when you're dealing with a non-charged atom such as this C10H22 up here. So that's good. Uh, we can go ahead and talk about shape real quick. Um, each carbon atom has four bonding sites, which means that each carbon is going to be sp3 hybridized. All right, and when it's sp3 hybridized, that means that each carbon is a central central atom of a tetrahedral shape. All right, so that means that this C10H22 is really just a bunch of tetrahedrals kind of building off of each other down just all the way down the line okay and uh, because this is a symmetric atom each H has an opposite H pointing in the opposite, opposite direction there's going to be a net dipole moment of zero which means that this C10H22 this decane is going to end up being a non polar molecule because all of the carbons and all of the hydrogens cancel each other out giving you a zero net dipole moment being nonpolar. Um, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know and uh, post them in the comments. If you have any specific requests, um, let me know and I'll try to put them in a video for you. And uh, thanks for watching.